So just in time for the Halloween season, we have Claudine Wolf, Frankie Stein, Draculaura are back in this Monster High sequel. I'm talking with Emmy-winning director Todd Holland. Good morning, Todd. Hey, good morning, Trevor. So can you give us a quick recap on the first Monster High that premiered last year? The Monster High was all about Claudine having a big secret. She goes to Monster High, and what she's hiding is that she's half human, half wolf. And Monster High has very little, has zero tolerance for humans. So she got, comes to school with a big secret and basically has to learn. She starts with, if I want to be happy, I can never tell the truth about who I am. And she learns you have to face the fear of living honestly to ever find happiness. And in doing that, she... She confronts a villain. She actually saves Monster High because of her unique human nature, and she makes incredible friends. Yeah. So where do we where do we find this trio in the sequel? Well, because uh, all sequels need a place to spin, we knew the biggest success of the first movie was this friendship between Claudine, Frankie, and Draculaura. So picking up where the first film left off, we wanted to threaten that most of all, that friendship. So we bump right into our own happy ending where Claudine was finally loved and accepted. And now she confronts the real challenges of peer pressure and personal conviction. And what is right is not always popular. And what is popular is not always right. And she has to confront the idea of if my school stops loving it and accepting me, I'll lose everything I've fought so hard for. Um, necessarily there'll be a villain who push on that theme and make it very difficult for her. Yeah, and these these songs are so catchy. The kids are so talented. What was it like working with all of them? Oh my gosh, they're so talented. And these songs happen so fast. We send out a brief and within 10 days, we have five five front you know, contenders for each slot in the movie. And these songwriters are so fast. And then once we pick them and develop them, the kids re-record -re them and they're just amazing. They're so talented. Um, and it's one of the biggest joys is the musical side of it from, it's such a fast process and yet suddenly you're on set and you're choreographing it and you're dancing to it. And it's kind of magical that, that side of it. Yeah. And it's definitely, the sequel is definitely giving kind of elf enchanted vibes of them going to the real world. Is that what you guys were aiming for? Yeah, we always, we wanted to go somewhere new in this movie and the 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 the, the, sub, main, the main plot that Dracula chases pulls her into the real world and her friends go to save her. Yeah. Um I love 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 the authentic realization and the diversity and the representation that this brings to kids because that wasn't the case when I was growing up it was white princesses all straight characters but you guys are doing it in such a fun positive way that People can't say, oh, they're shoving it in our faces. What's it like working on a show like this? It's all joy. It's all joy. You know, I was a big misfit uh, gay kid as a kid, and I love creating a world that is that welcomes everyone. It welcomes everyone of every color, every every sexual orientation, every every monster, every monster breed, you know? So it's just fun to say, What's great about it is that Monster High was always designed to be an inclusive world, but the Monster High in the first movie was intolerant. And that's what's been fun about it, is pushing against these questions of acceptance and inclusion in a world built on inclusion. So so that's what's been interesting. And the, this second movie, we were able to push a little further. Great, we can't wait to see it. So I have to ask the million or billion dollar question in the room, since Mattel also makes Monster High and Barbie. What do you think of Barbie's success? Uh, huge, huge fun. Uh, Barbie, I loved Barbie, honestly. I well, didn't know what to expect. I mean, it's Barbie. What what was it going to be? <laughs> and so when I, I enjoyed it and thought it was thoughtful and, and intriguing, I thought, oh, that was a really thoughtful movie that talked about social issues in a way I wasn't sure Barbie could. So hats off to Greta and Noah and the writers and, and the director, Greta. Um, and so it's amazing. So Yeah. So can we expect a trilogy with Monster High or possibly even more than that? We are, um, we've always been told to plan on a trilogy. So if all goes well, fans tune in and there's enough turnout for Monster High 2, I think there's a good chance, the, but the fans get to vote by tuning in. So please yeah, Fingers crossed. We'll make sure they yeah. tune in October 5th on Nickelodeon Paramount Plus. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much, Trevor. Take care.